the world is ever changing and it is those who adapt and offer the market what it needs that thrive. Over the past year, I've had the chance to work with hundreds of brands, clients and students and I've come to realize that the traditional high income skills, I'm sure you've watched the videos, digital marketing, public speaking, high ticket sales, I've come to realize that those, those are a thing of the past. The high income skills that are needed to thrive going into 2020 are completely different and the early adopters will reap massive success. That is what this video is all about, sharing with you the top five new high income skills to learn right now. I'll be giving you book recommendations so you can get started right now. By the end of this video, you'll know what to do and how to actually get started to learn these high income skills and be one of the early adopters. So I'm super excited for this video. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, the first high income skill is smashing the like button. This is probably the most simple skill I'm going to cover in this video. And the great thing is you can get started right now by clicking on the like button. I really appreciate it. It helps out a ton with the algorithm and it helps me stay motivated to create these videos for you guys. And so with that being said, let's go right into the first skill. But the first two high income skills are going to be soft skills. And the final three skills will be more practical, more core skills. And so the first soft skill is focus. On this great book called Deep Work, Carl Newport describes deep work as the ability to perform in a state of distraction-free concentration that push your cognitive capabilities to their limit. These efforts create new value, improve your skills, and are hard to replicate. The ability to sit down and focus for long periods of uninterrupted time is increasingly rare at the same time that it's becoming increasingly valuable in our economy. And those who master this skill in a world of distraction where social media is trying to suck as much of our attention and time for a profit will thrive. Because it's not so much about the ability of getting into a state of deep work, it's about what you can create when you're in that state. When you are focused, when you are in that state of deep work, you can create things that are of value to society. So that's the first high income skill. And I really recommend you guys pick up this book. It's a great book by Carl Newport. And with that being said, let's go right into point number two. The second high income skill is thinking in systems. In his popular book, Atomic Habits, James Clear argues that goal setting is overrated. And the reason why that is, is because most people in the world are goal oriented. For example, they set a goal for themselves to hit $10,000 a month by the end of the year. Now there's obviously a time and place for goals, but instead people should be more systems oriented. What do they need to do to hit that goal? For example, I need to jump on seven sales goals a week, or I need to put together an automated sales funnel, or I need to create a hiring process to find A players for my team. What's important is being able to look at the outcome and the goal we're trying to get and reverse engineer to pinpoint the systems that we need to put in place to hit that goal. And this one actually hit me just this morning. I had my pen in hand and this notebook, and I was breaking down what I need to do to lower my screen time to one hour and 30 minutes consistently every single day. And the plan of action that I had to follow came to me surprisingly easy. I was able to pinpoint the roadblocks that were leading me to spend way more time than I should stocked my screen, as well as the new systems that I had to put in place to reach my goal. And I came to realize that that is something that most people really struggle with. They struggle to see the causation of things. They struggle to see the cause and effect of their action. They may be good at goal setting, but they're pretty poor in determining the rules, the changes, the routines, the systems that they need to put in place in their life to accomplish that goal. Obviously, this is a skill that didn't come to me naturally. I've worked on it over the years and it has served me very well to hit my goals over the years. For this high income skill, I recommend you check out Atomic Habits by James Clear, as well as the book called Thinking in Systems. The third high income skill is storytelling. In a world full of noise of buy this, buy that, get this for free now, stories. Good Good stories are going to cut through and they're going to get people to take action. Over the years, as consumers have been bombarded with ads all over the internet, they've built massive walls around anything that looks like an ad. The days where we could just put an ad in front of someone enough times that they would convert are over. Consumers are incredibly desensitized to that type of advertising and we need great storytelling to go and impend it through the massive walls that they've built around advertising. For example, I've seen it this year more than ever, brands coming to either my agency or my personal brand to tell their story online. They may have an incredible product and amazing team, but they're struggling to tell their story in a way that is gonna resonate with the millennial Gen Z generation. You can do this through number one, ad copies. So the written word, there are great books on this, like the copywriting handbook, or more important than ever, video content, which involves studying the market and seeing what resonates. Now for this skill, there's two books that I recommend to get started. Number one is Made to Stick, very good book on how to tell stories that actually hook people. And All Marketers Tell Stories by Seth Godin, very easy and quick read and definitely a great starting point in telling stories. So these two books are the ones that I recommend. And with that being said, let's go right into skill number four. 
The fourth high income skill is growth hacking. And growth hacking involves using creative low cost strategies to help businesses acquire and retain customers. There's never been more e-commerce brands entering the market than in the current moment. And we've actually seen this with the explosive growth of Shopify websites in the past six months. Some of these brands may have higher or lower budgets, but they're all after one single thing. And that one single thing is fast and profitable growth. They need growth hackers. And it's for example, what my team and I do for our clients on a daily basis with my social media marketing agency. The role of growth hackers for any business is already massive and it's only going to get bigger. I personally like to say that we are the rain makers of any business. Sure, a business can have a great product, maybe a great team, but a brand with a great product and no customers is worth nothing. And we're literally responsible for bringing them customers profitably. So we play a massive role in any business and it's a skill that is in huge, huge demand. And so to get started, I recommend you pick up Growth Hacker Marketing by Ryan Holiday. Very good starting point. And I also recommend Traction to get an introduction on some of the platforms that you can tap into to growth hack brands and get them customers profitably. So that is the fourth high income skill and on to the final one. The final high income skill is a bit of a weird one. You've probably never heard of it and it's called Customer Success Engineering. And this applies if you have a B2C brand or a service-based business like an agency. More than ever, customer and client experience is the most important metric. Customers are bombarded with great products on a daily basis. So that is not new for them. So nowadays it's all about how brands make them feel. Do they feel like they're part of a tribe? Do they feel like they're part of something bigger? This could involve things like coming up with a creative way to onboard clients, or for example, effective ways of reporting to them and retaining them for as long as possible. In a nutshell, leveraging and upselling current buyers is way more profitable than finding new ones to sell to. Also, you can transform these current buyers to brand evangelists who will just rave about your product. And in a world where trust is at an all-time low, having real customers do the marketing for you is incredibly effective. To get you thinking about the importance of client experience and customer success, I'd really recommend you pick up the Everything Store. It's basically the story of Jeff Bezos and how he built Amazon. And in the book, he talks about one of the key pillars to Amazon success, which is an insane obsession with the end user. So I really recommend you pick up this book to adopt the mindset and really start thinking about the ways you can engineer your customer journey and your client experience to have incredible customer success. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope you can take the skills that we talked about today and start implementing them, start learning about them or at least have an awareness of them going into 2020. I truly believe that the early adopters of these high income skills are going to reap massive benefits and hopefully uh, you are one of them. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a massive, massive thumbs up. It really helps out a ton with the algorithm, the channel, uh, and uh, my team and I would really, really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency, which is my business model, how I make my money, how I afford my lifestyle, and uh, what I'm truly, truly passionate about. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and sub to my channel. And I really recommend you hit that little bell so you never miss an update. And the final thing is, if you haven't checked out my free Facebook mastermind, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to develop high income skills, build their agency and level up in life. And so if you want to join that community of like-minded winners, go ahead and uh, check out the link in bio. Go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.